Hello and welcome to a short update. We want to give you an overview of what we are doing right now and what you can expect in the near future on this channel. Right now we have summer and because of that it's probable that we won't present a video every week. However, we will try to maintain a certain regularity. The last few days we have worked on our video archive on gmbart.net. Here you will find a list of the most recent videos if you don't like how YouTube handles large video libraries. Our main project at the present is still Farming Simulator 15. It got its final update to version 1.3 a few days ago, but the beta patch was available for quite some time already. However, the new version has an impact on mods, meaning some mods don't work with 1.3 yet and have to be updated. For us this means that we need to clean out our mod folder, which may take some time. When we have done that, we will release new mod videos again. A project we always wanted to come back to is Kerbal Space Program. The game was updated to the final release version a few weeks ago, after it was in early access for quite some time. Unfortunately, the release did not go smoothly. There were some hotfixes that we wanted to wait for. Currently, hotfix 1.0.4 has been released, which hopefully eliminated any major problems. Of course, we welcome the fact that problems get fixed, but again, it has consequences for mods. Unfortunately, this rapid succession of patches has also meant that some modders are still waiting to update their mods until the worst bugs are fixed, and we understand that of course. For us that means that we will wait to jump into the game for a few more weeks. A game we have played for a while now is Pillars of Eternity, an RPG that is based on the old school games like Bardur's Gate, meaning isometric view, turn by turn fighting and so on. We had planned to release a couple of videos about it, we will see what we come up with. If any one of you has not played the game yet but likes RPGs, we can only recommend it. You can even buy DRM free on GOG.com if you don't like Steam. Of course there are other projects on the horizon that will come up in the next months. This year's E3 had some surprises in store for us. First we have to mention the holy grail of the mother scene, Fallout 4 by Bethesda. We think it was quite a surprise for everybody that they plan to release the game in fall 2015 already. Both the Elder Scrolls series and Fallout series attract many modders and some incredible mods have been released for the games, be it small additions or total conversions. So it's pretty clear for us that we'll have a look at it too. Another surprise was the announcement of XCOM 2 by Firaxis, also for fall 2015. This game will not only be a PC exclusive, but also offer full mod support, something that XCOM 1 didn't. The Long War mod for XCOM 1 is an incredible piece of work, and it was created without mod tools or documentation. It was basically hacked into the game, which has impressed even the developers at Firaxis. If Firaxis implements the same mod support as they do for the Civilization series, we can look forward to a great new game and project. Of course there are a lot of other games out there, unfortunately our time is too limited to create videos for everything we like. If you, however, have a recommendation for a mod-friendly game, feel free to mention it in the comment section. Well, that's it from us, have fun with your games and mods, and always remember, just take a moment to thank the modders for their work if you are using it. See you soon.